Hello you. Welcome back my channel Health and Fitness 1047. We wish you a good day. Here is the main news. Follow it. One, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey pack on the PDA as they attend the U.S. Open Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were seen together at the U.S. Open, where they attended the men's singles final at Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York City. Swift wore a stylish red and white sundress, while Kelsey opted for a white polo and a red and white cardigan. The couple, both 34, spent the weekend in New York, dining at a Brooklyn pizza restaurant and attending a wedding. They were also spotted celebrating the Kansas City Chiefs' recent win against the Baltimore Ravens, with Swift watching from Kelsey's VIP suite. The couple, who began dating in July 2023, appeared affectionate throughout their outings. Two. Brittany and Patrick Mahomes joined Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey at U.S. Open Final in NYC Brittany and Patrick Mahomes attended the U.S. Open Men's Singles Final in New York City alongside Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. The couple was seen in a suite, with Patrick dressed in a black Prada jacket and Brittany, who is pregnant with their third child, in a white Gucci mini dress. The two women shared a hug and Swift was seen enjoying a conversation with Patrick. Kelsey and Swift displayed affection, with Kelsey wrapping his arms around her and kissing her on the head. The Mahomeses had previously spent time with Swift and Kelsey at Swift's Rhode Island Beach House, where other celebrity couples were also present. 3. Nicole Kidman says teenage daughters wreak havoc borrowing clothes from her closet. They go crazy. Nicole Kidman revealed in an interview that her teenage daughters, Sunday Rose, 16, and Faith Margaret, 13, have taken to raiding her closet, leaving it in disarray. Kidman joked about their antics, noting that they often just take a t-shirt after causing chaos. Both girls are tall like their mother, making it easier to share clothes, though they currently prefer basics. Sunday has already begun exploring high fashion. Attending Paris Fashion Week with Kidman, where they wore matching black dresses. Kidman mentioned that Sunday had long wanted to attend a fashion show, and this was her first experience. While Sunday has been making more public appearances, Faith is less involved in red carpet events. Kidman shares her daughters with husband Keith Urban and has two older children, Bella and Connor. From her previous marriage to Tom Cruise, 4. The finale of The Bachelorette Season 21 featured Jen Tran in tears as she revisited her breakup with Devin Strader, who ended their engagement via phone call and subsequently ghosted her. Following the episode, Tran and former contestant Maria Jorgas addressed the situation on TikTok. Maria expressed her sympathy for Jen but clarified that only Jen and Devin could truly speak about their relationship. She denied any involvement in the breakup, stating she had never met Devin and only hung out with friends, including Jeremy Simons, after the split. Maria emphasized her desire to protect her character and peace, asserting that she had no role in the relationship's end. Meanwhile, Jen shared a TikTok video indicating her transition from heartbreak to excitement about joining the cast of Dancing with the Stars. 5. The Perfect Couple, Ending Explained Who Was the Killer? Netflix's asterisk The Perfect Couple is a murder mystery series that keeps viewers guessing throughout its six episodes. The story begins with zoologist Amelia Sachs's wedding plans disrupted by the discovery of a dead body, which is revealed to be her best friend, Merritt Monaco. As the plot unfolds, various characters, including Amelia's fiancé Benji and his family, are suspected of the murder, with conflicting clues leading to multiple theories. 
Ultimately, it is revealed that the unexpected murderer is Abby Stokes Winbury, who kills Merritt out of jealousy and financial motives related to the family trust. Abby drugs Merritt and drowns her during a night swim, believing this will secure her family's wealth. The series also introduces a subplot involving Greer Garrison Winbury, who is connected to a man named Broderick Graham, revealed to be her brother and not a hitman as initially suspected. The show concludes with shocking twists that leave the audience reeling. 6. Fall TV Preview 2024, Yellowstone, Outlander, and so much more F. Scott Fitzgerald's quote about fall signifies a fresh start which mirrors the current state of television as fall 2024 brings a wealth of new and returning shows following the resolution of last year's WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes. Major series like Yellowstone and Asterisk Outlander are back, alongside new sci-fi offerings such as Asterisk Dune, Prophecy and Asterisk Star Wars, Skeleton Crew. The competition between DC and Marvel continues with Asterisk the Penguin and Asterisk Agatha all along debuting simultaneously. With hundreds of shows premiering this season, Team Decider highlights 24 of the most anticipated titles across various genres. Notably, Apple TV Plus S Asterisk Slow Horses returns for its fourth season. Adapting McHaren's asterisk Spook Street and maintaining its critical acclaim, the guide provides an overview of the exciting fall TV lineup 7. The Bachelorette, did Jen Tran dirty with unbelievably cruel finale the season 21 finale of asterisk The Bachelorette asterisk, which aired on September 3rd revealed significant issues regarding the treatment of its lead, Jen Tran, the franchise's first Asian-American bachelorette. Despite being marketed as a historic season, the finale was marred by emotional turmoil for Tran, who faced heartbreak from her final two suitors and mistreatment by producers. After realizing that Marcus Schoberg was not genuinely invested, Tran chose to end that relationship and expressed her desire to propose to Devin Strader. However, the finale took a painful turn when it was revealed that Strader had ghosted her and called off their engagement shortly after filming. During the live event, host Jesse Palmer brought Strader on stage, leading to an emotional confrontation where Tran questioned his intentions. The producers then aired footage of her proposal, despite her discomfort, which only added to her distress. Critics noted that the producers failed to protect Tran during the finale, showcasing a pattern of poor treatment throughout the season, including her rushed introduction and the perception that she was a second choice among the contestants. Despite Tran's grace and resilience, the finale ended in tears rather than celebration raising concerns about the franchise's commitment to improving its practices. Many in Bachelor Nation expressed disappointment and called for better treatment of future leads, particularly with the upcoming season featuring Grant Ellis. The finale highlighted ongoing issues within the franchise, leaving viewers questioning how many more chances they would give to the producers. 8. Khloe Kardashian says a therapist dumped her for her reaction to finding ex-husband Lamar Odom in a drug den. Khloe Kardashian discusses her experiences with therapy in a recent episode of the Kardashians Asterisk, revealing that she has tried several therapists but has never felt a connection with any of them. She explains that despite sharing her life story and struggles, she has not received any guidance with one therapist even suggesting she didn't need therapy due to her calm demeanor when discussing traumatic events. Kardashian reflects on her tumultuous past, including her marriage to Lamar Odom, which ended in divorce after infidelity and his near-fatal overdose. Despite the challenges, she emphasizes her resilience and ability to process her experiences.